Hi, I'm Tom Harriman from Uganda Art Consortium. We're looking for partners to help us sell the artwork produced by HIV AIDS patients, orphans and street children in our workshops in Uganda. Behind me on the wall you can see some of the original stunning artworks produced by 13, 14 and 15 year old children who we've been working with in our studio in Namangona. These are paintings on cloth but uh, they include bits of fabric and other kinds of material to make a really uh, brilliant uh, display. And <clears throat> the kids really have a chance to express themselves and to develop their artistic skills. On the, uh, on the floor down, uh, down below, you can see some of the large paintings that the kids have created. These are, these, are group pro these are group projects, sometimes work done by a dozen or more kids at the same time. And each child brings their own idea their own concept and their own vision to the painting and they combine them into one single artwork. There are eight active and accomplished Ugandan artists in our group, plus a few friends here in the U.S. The artists are some of the most highly respected painters and printmakers in Uganda. Their artworks reflect both traditional and modern ideas. They use shimmering colors, intriguing textures, and dramatic themes. The artists are the ones who conduct the art therapy sessions and the kids' art workshops. We help the artists sell their work and they donate part of their earnings back to Uganda Art Consortium to support the children's and hospital programs. This money goes to buy art supplies and maintain the art center building and provide income to the artists. The kids program started in a little shack on a dusty lane in a poor neighborhood near Kampala. But in 2015, with donations and proceeds from sales, we converted an old shipping container into a gallery and studio for the kids program. It's on the main road in Namangona. The neighborhood kids in Namangona hang out at our children's center every day, and three times a year during school holidays, we hold free workshops every day for a month, with often over a hundred kids attending. Since 2008, thousands of Ugandan children have benefited from our workshops. We also hold workshops at local primary schools and churches. In this workshop at Kidwilime Primary School, over a hundred kids took painting and drawing classes. Over a dozen kids worked on this large canvas. Twelve-year-old Yiga Osman showed a talent and enthusiasm for painting as soon as he picked up a brush. Many kids learned how to make beaded jewelry. Yeah, they are learning. As we were packing up for the day, some of the kids enjoyed modeling the things they had made. We also work in hospitals providing art therapy to HIV AIDS patients in Uganda's largest hospital. And we teach patients how to design and dye their own fabrics through tie dyeing and to make useful items from the colorful fabrics like this apron, carry bags, and backpacks. Sales from these items go to support the classes and provide income to the patients. We've been holding art therapy sessions at Malago Hospital in Kampala since 2008. Here, Kasper Kasimbeko explains the basics of tie dyeing to a group of patients at the hospital. The skills they learn and the beautiful items they make give patients a sense of confidence and accomplishment, helping them overcome the stigma, isolation, and fear that often accompanies an AIDS diagnosis. The designs on the cloth are created in the dyeing process. After dyeing, the cloth is cut and sewn into aprons and bags. We sell the items at crafts fairs and art exhibitions. Half the proceeds are paid directly to the patients in the workshop. The other half goes to buy supplies and support the program. I'm Tom Harriman. We started Uganda Art Consortium in 2008, and since then we've enriched the lives of thousands of children and adults through art. I invite you to join us.